hello guys welcome back to dr jacks i am back with another video and in this video we are going to see how to use blue stack emulator for checking your android app so why i recommend you blue stack emulator so let us suppose if you have low system configuration because you already know android emulator inbuilt emulator requires so much of ram at least 16 gb of ram if it work fine so it is there is a best alternative option like jenny motion blue stack and there are lots of other android emulators are present but blue stack consume so much less ram and also blue stack has very lightweight and it is very fast so in this video i am going to show you how to use blue stack android emulator for checking your android apps so this video is going to very amazing and one more thing i want to say if you say you can run your device you can run your android apps on real device i totally agree with this you can easily run your android device on local devices but let us suppose in future i am going to soon upload the complete api series like how to create your own api how to set up your local server and inside a xam server so on that time we need an emulator we can also check that apps on our real devices but it is not possible for everyone and we have to do lots of changes inside our android android id and and also we have to also make lots of changes inside window so there is a best option to install a, this lightweight emulator for checking that apps on that time and this emulator has lots of advantage like lightweight and very amazing but the disadvantage is that only that of this emulator it work up to android 7 so currently latest version is android 11 but it work up to android 7 so there is no android 8 8 9 9 10 11 present in emulators so hope you understand why this is lightweight but this is very helpful for checking some lightweight apps some apps which work on local server so on that time we need an emulator and it is very amazing choice to use this so in this video i'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of this emulator so don't further delay now let's start the video and if you don't subscribe the channel then please subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification so now let's start the video so for using this simply open your any browser so soon i am going to upload the complete api series you can see uh, currently i am working on this so soon i will going to upload this now for downloading the blue stack emulator simply you have to click on download blue stack emulator so you can see this is the latest version of blue stack 5 so click on this and when you click on this you have to click on download blue stack so when you click on this download blue stack it will download the one mb file so i will show you so you can see the file is downloaded successfully so this is just a exe file so when you double click on this exe file it will open the setup so on that time you have to simply click on install so i already installed the emulator so that's why i am not showing so it just show the exe file and you have required only 350 to 400 mb of internet so it is very lightweight you can see this is the size of this emulator is just 400 mb so you have to simply install this so now after installing this emulator how the screen look appear so when you install the emulator successfully you can see this kind of screen appear on your screen windows so you can see our emulator is installed successfully but now this is in horizontal mode so we have to use as a android checking device so we have to set this emulator as an android device for portrait mode so for this you have to click on this icon and then you have to click on settings now after this you have to simply come on advance click on advance and from here you have to enable this first android debug bridge so when you enable this it automatically show this option as an emulator inside your android studio id so must enable this option now after enabling this option you have to come inside your device setting so you can see from here you can select any phone you want to use like it contain lots of phone so you can select any so but it, it is recommended one plus five so i am going with one plus five but you can select any now you have to click on display so when you click on display you can see the recommended screen size you can see in this is the landscape mode so from here first of all you have to select portrait now after selecting portrait you can select any resolution it is your choice and it is recommending me this resolution so i am going to with this resolution so I always go with the recommendation but you can select by on it is your choice now after this you it say to restart it so simply click on restart now so now you can see this emulator is restart successfully and it looks amazing and it looks similar to our android studio id emulator so it is working fine now i will show you how to use this as a emulator inside our android studio id so for this simply open your android studio so i already opened my android studio so here you can see it is not showing anything so why it is not showing anything because if you want to show emulator inside this android studio so the criteria is that first of all you have to open 
blue stack emulator then you have to open that project in which you want to use so i already opened that and studio so that's why it is not showing here so i have to open new project again so you can open any project it is your choice so i simply click on file then i click on new open and then i simply select this project and final real downloader and then i click on this window so when you open this you can see our emulator is already open so now it is showing here now we can successfully use this as an emulator so i press on the button to show you whether it is working or not and you can see it is very fast and it is very amazing so now you can see app installed successfully inside this emulator and then app is working fine so this is the instagram real downloader and content downloader you can download anything from instagram and soon i will going to upload also this tutorial so you can see this application work fine inside this simulator so i hope guys you like this video and if you have any query you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please share this video with your friend and if you have any question you can comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment so thank you see you soon in next amazing video